I'm Richard Ellis, an architectural photographer and associate of the British Institute of Professional Photography. Recently, I've been engaged in Landscape Visual Impact Assessments, or LVIA, photography. And this video is to show some of the processes in creating verified photographs. The work I've done recently is still confidential. So this video is based on a hypothetical project. I chose a site in Digbeth, East Birmingham, because it's currently vacant. And from the surrounding streets, there are several views of significant buildings and landmarks. I have selected several of these critical viewpoints and marked them on the map, including both points and directions. But first, I'm going to show you some of the equipment I use. The tripod is a Manfrotto 190, which has the right balance of sturdiness and portability. It has a spirit level, allowing for approximate levelling. On this, I use a Manfrotto 410 geared head. This has precise movements in all three axes, enabling levelling, which is generally accurate to within 0.1 degrees thus minimising the need for, to alter images in post-processing. The levelling is verified by an electronic level in the camera. The camera I'm using here is a Canon 5DSR. This is a full-frame camera with three noticeable advantages. Firstly, it has a high-resolution 50 megapixel sensor with a wide dynamic range. Secondly, it doesn't have a low pass filter, unlike most cameras, meaning that images are especially sharp. And that's a particular need for skylines in this type of photography. Thirdly, it has two storage cards, minimizing the possibility of data loss. Normally, I shoot standard views at 50 millimeters focal length. Here, the camera is paired with a 50 millimeter 1.8 Canon lens which is both lightweight and accurate. Wide angle shots are taken with a shift lens, which gives perspective control. This is a Canon TSC 17 mm with a 1.4 times adapter, allowing me to shoot at equivalent 24 mm focal length. This is the chosen focal length for all the wide angle shots in this video. The adapter allows me to carry effectively two shift lenses without the considerable additional weight of a second lens. The first viewpoint, number six on the map, looks northwest to the city centre. Having established the appropriate viewpoint, I set the camera and tripod up and using a plumb line, made a survey mark with temporary paint below the camera. This is for a surveyor to take the exact ground level, or in some cases, I return later to sites when trees are in a different state of foliage. The camera is placed at a consistent height of 1.6 meters above the ground level, equivalent to an average person's point of view. Where possible, I put the survey mark on or near an identifiable object, such as an inspection cover in case the mark is erased over time. Along with a photo of the survey mark, I also supply the customer with the grid reference and a what3word screenshot to ensure the, the location is unmistakable. Viewpoint 6 encompasses several landmarks, the Radisson Hotel, the Spire of St. Martins, the Rotunda and the Custard Factory, all seen here in the 50mm focal length photo. The next three photos show the effects of using a 24mm shift lens, shifted at different heights to maintain a level perspective whilst bringing higher building lines into view. When extremely high resolution is needed, I can take a series of portrait format photos 
at 15 degree intervals. The seven images here cover the equivalent of 117 degrees, or roughly an 11 millimeter focal length lens. These are then digitally combined into a rectilinear panorama. The next two viewpoints, four and five, have the same centre from a central reservation, but look in different directions. Viewpoint four looks towards the city centre. Here again, we see the view through a 50 millimetre lens, then through shifted views at 24 millimetres. Viewpoint 5 looks south-southwest down Ulster Street towards the spire of St Anne's Church. For the purposes of this video, the last set of images is from viewpoint 8. Again, there is a combination of standard and wide angle views. Here, proposed building lines are superimposed onto the photos, and the shifted wide angle images show how different roof lines might impact on the view, and also how the structure might relate to adjacent buildings. Finally, I'm also qualified and insured to fly drones for commercial purposes which would complement some LVIA photo surveys. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching.